the new Dartwing 130. We're cruising around the flats here just looking for cruising GTs or queenfish. The reason I've got the Dartwing on, it casts a mile and I can cast it into the wind. It's very aerodynamic. It's got a really nice sort of skipping action on the surface, but the main uh, thing you want in here is casting distance. So this is a perfect lure for the job. GTs, queenies, should be all over this if we can get it in front of them. See a few fish down here actually. Oh, they're on it, they're on it. Eat it, eat it, eat it. Got him, yes. Got him, that was so cool. Big, big shark just cruising along in there and you can see all the fish just following him. Got the dart wing in there and uh, they were straight onto that. That was awesome. I don't actually know what they are. They could be little goldens, could be GTs, but that's the advantage of being able to cast a long way. Just get the right lure on so you can cover that distance. That, that shark was a long, long way off. I'm gonna have to pass this one down. Come. Saw a couple of fish hanging on the back. It was interesting, we've been watching that shark the whole way and I couldn't see any fish on it. And then just out of nowhere, the fish kind of turned up. Oh, beautiful. Nothing wrong with that. That is so much fun. Sight casting to these things in the shallows really is one of the most enjoyable things you can do. It's, uh, yeah, see those things cruising behind the shark and then put a lure in there and watch a pack of them come out and nail it. So cool. Cool. All right, I'll just let this guy go.